Welcome back to Rare Oakley's. We got an awesome unboxing today. You guys are going to really enjoy this. It is a mystery pair of Axe Metals. Before we check these out, as always, make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Hit that like button, give us a thumbs up, and of course, do not forget about that bell icon, which is for you, so that you never miss a future episode of Rare Oakley's. Speaking of which, be sure to check out our other videos. We have a ton of fantastic and exclusive content. Make sure you check out our other videos, and of course, make sure you check this out. This is my book. It is packed with tips and tricks on how to save money, how to get free stuff, and it is a fun and entertaining read. Links are going to be below in the description. I promise you this is well worth the price of admission many times over. So, Axe Metals just arrived in the mail here not long ago, and a very special thanks to Matt from... Sunglass Bandit. I'm going to leave a link below in the description uh, for his eBay store. He kind of hooked me up with these. I, I paid for them, obviously, but I got a pretty good deal on them. So I, I really appreciate that. I appreciate Matt. Thank you for, for your help on this. And we're going to see what we got in here. So bear with me. We're flying solo again today. My wife is not available, so I'm doing this solo. And we got, of course, our tools of the trade here to unbox these, hopefully. Oh, he packed them pretty well, too. And, of course, it looks like these were packed in a box that was recycled from Brain Dead because they got the tape on there about how fast their delivery is, or was, even though the, their delivery wasn't very fast for us. But that's okay, as long as they're packed well, which it seems like they are. This is actually kind of a large box to pack one pair of X-Metals, but that's good because that means that there's probably extra packing material in there. And unlike the package that we received from Brain Dead, stuff isn't bouncing around in there, so that's that's actually very good. All right. So, what do we have? Well, great packing job. Thank you, Matt, again, for making sure that these are secure. Yeah, very good packing job. Bubble wrap, extra paper, and look at that. Romeo 2s. Now, this is the plasma with gold iridium, and at the time that this video is being shot, I'm going to tell you, I've been checking for plasma and gold iridium Romeo 2s on eBay for quite some time and haven't even seen a pair in, I don't even know how long, months and months. There's not even a pair that's surfaced on eBay. So really happy to get these. And here's the back of the box. Of course, these are vintage, right? From 20 plus years ago. So there's the X-Metal logo on the back. There's your SKU. And the model number 04-138. Man, this brings back a lot of great memories. X-Metal coin. And actually, it looks like he packed these separately for me, which I, I kind of asked him to because I was afraid that this box being so old, well, not the box itself, but the inside, right? The foam has a tendency to deteriorate and get sticky, and I didn't want that to mess up the glasses. But we do have our extra, what is in here? The extra nose bombs, right? So that's good. And temple shocks, it looks like. Yep, extra set of temple shocks and nose bombs. And you know what? Let's just take a quick look at these. And I think, and of course, paperwork, warranty paperwork. But I want to take a quick look at these. And then the glasses are were packed separately. I want to take a quick look at these because a lot of you are may not be familiar with the, the Temple Shocks for these because they are significantly different from the Juliet's, right? And look how small these are. I probably should have had some Juliet Temple Shocks to compare these two. Maybe we'll do that in a future episode. But... You can see they're almost like a little small, very small triangle. So much smaller. And these are root beer, of course, because again, this is the plasma with gold iridium and the root beer unobtainium. So I don't want to drop these. I'm going to put these back in the little bag here. I wish we would, would have gotten a pair of, or could have gotten a pair of extra ear socks because those ear socks are near impossible to find now for the Romeo 2s. And you guys... If you know about that, you'll know you know what I'm talking about. 
but we got kind of our X metal set up here. So let's take these out of the bag. <clears throat> Oh yeah, nice, nice, nice. And you can see they kind of have that brown tint to them because of the gold iridium. And of course, gold iridium has been discontinued for quite some time. It's now been replaced, I, I think more or less with the tungsten or daily prism polarized or whatever. But gold iridium, in my opinion, is a great lens Flex couplers are not too bad on here. I knew that though before he uh, he sent these. And Romeo 2s, of course, X metal made at 3,600 degrees using a proprietary titanium based alloy that only Oakley knows what the exact uh, ingredients were in that, that alloy with 450,000 watt generators. Very interesting fact there. Frames virtually indestructible. And this happened to be Oakley's first semi-rimless pair of X-Metals, right? So very, very cool. Some people had a little controversy about them putting the Oakley icon here on the ear stem. I happen to like it. I think it's great because prior to this, none of the X-Metals ever had the Oakley icon on the ear stem like that. So I'm going to actually try these on to show you guys what they... Uh, Kind of what they look like right give you a little bit of a idea here and keep in mind too that i've got kind of a medium to medium small facial structure so please bear with me we're trying to adjust this this stand here but here you go so yeah a little bit of a gap underneath the sides not bad i think overall these are awesome very lightweight compared to the other x metals because of that semi rimless design and the fact that these ear stems, you can see how thin they are. I mean, they are really thin compared to a lot of the other X metals. Not all of them, but many of the others are not, are much thicker than this. But these are some of my favorites. And looks like the lenses are pretty good too. That's good. Again, very special thanks to Matt from Bandit Sunglasses. Check the link below for his eBay page. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, again, make sure you give us a thumbs up, like this video, so YouTube will push it out to more, more viewers. As always, thank you guys for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing. Do not forget to hit that bell icon, and we will see you next time on Rare Oakley's.